all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The portion for today's Lent meditation is taken from Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 to 17. Since then you have been raised with Christ, set your heart on things above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is in your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires and greed, which is idolatry. Because of this, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived, but now you must also rid yourself of all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and flitty language from your lips. Do not lie to each other, since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self which is being renewed in knowledge and the image of its creator. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all, Christ is in all. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if, you, if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns and song from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. I would like to give this portion a title of A New Life in Christ. First point that I would like to share is Lent a time to start again. As we clearly see in chapter 3 verses 1 and 2, Since then you have been raised with Christ, set your heart on things above, where Christ is. This portion is telling us in this Lent time, let's place our heart, our mind, our thoughts, whatever thoughts we create in our life, let's put them and let's set them where, where our Christ is. In Mark chapter 8 verses 33, we see that when Jesus was predicting his third death and Peter was rebuking him, Jesus said, You are setting your mind not on divine things but on human things. As we face temptation in our day-to-day -day life, let us try to set up our minds on Christ above. Time to start again. When the lockdown was removed and the restrictions were eased out, we started to leave our life again. For example, when our phone gets hanged, the best solution that we have is to restart it. In, in this Lent meditation time, let's restart our life and think, think and try to set our thoughts on Christ. Setting on things above conveys that what God requires from us. These may include to obey his commandments, to help the poor and the needy, to stay away from the earthly desires which is clearly mentioned in verses 5 and 8. Let's take this Lent season to change ourselves and to restart a new life in Christ. The second point that I would like to bring is a time to be thankful again. In verse 17, we see that whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. We have to show gratitude to people and to, th and to be thankful for each day that we are living in. The more we are thankful to small things in our life, the more we will turn out to be more contented and satisfied. Paul says to do everything in the name of our Lord Jesus. In this Lent time, let's also remember all our frontline health workers who 
and, and be thankful to them. Let's take a moment to pray. Our Lord and Heavenly Jesus Christ, we thank you for this beautiful day that you had blessed us. We are thankful to you. We show our gratitude to you, Lord Jesus, for providing all our basic needs in our life. Lord, help that this Lent season be a blessing to everyone. Thank you. All we ask in your name. Amen.